Hey everybody, David R. Becker here with Becker Art. Today I want to talk to you about colors. I get asked quite often by students is, what colors do I use? You know, do I try to match this color? Um, how do I get this color? Well, I, today I want to talk to you a little bit about the color schemes and, you know, which color scheme do you like? Basically, that is basically it, is the fact that I always tell my students is that you use the colors that you love. Um, I get asked many times when I'm doing a workshop, you know, give me a list of colors that the students have to bring. And I find it to be very hard because a lot of times I want to tell all the students, bring colors that you like and that will work for you, that you like more than other colors. Because it really is, to me, more about the values and the drawing of the painting than it is the colors. The colors are very personal, I feel. And so let me just show you a little uh, how, I th how I think about this. And so let me just get rid of these. Hold on one second. Here we have a group of artists that paint very colorful. Carol Carter down here in the bottom left is um, one of those artists I always tell the students to look at. If you like to see color in your work, and also not the color that the actual item is. The objects are not, a lot of times, she does not paint an orange orange. She'll do, um, like she'll do a zebra, not black and white. She'll turn it blue and blue and white or green and white. And so it's, she doesn't use so much about the color, the actual color of the objects, but she'll use what colors that she loves to put into the painting. And so that's what I feel um, many artists do, like these four right here um, that I found um, just by looking at I typed in colorful artist, <laughs> colorful watercolorist, and these are the people that came up. And so then I also did this. I, I decided to go and let's see some artists who are not colorful. I said, great, color artists who are more, you know, works more with neutral tints. And these artists came up. And so, and not that e either one is right or wrong. It's just the fact that some people like more color in their work. Some people like it more gray. And so that shows me then a lot of times when I'm teaching is that it's so different for each individual person. So I say, use the colors that you love and use the color combinations that you love. I tend to like using a lot of color and grays. I'm trying to think of that way. And the fact that I'm worrying more about my drawing and my composition and so this is my group of paintings that I want to show you. Get rid of these back here. And so these are a couple of my paintings and these were all demonstrations to my students. And so you, these I just did a couple of weeks ago. And, but if you notice that there's a lot of, to do with the values, the composition and the drawing is sort of much more important to me than the actual color scheme. Though colors are important, it's fun to put colors I could have done these, every one of these scenes differently. I could have made it more gray, all gray. I could have made them all colorful, like the very first group I showed you, where there's a lot of color, but hardly any dark, dark, like not any black. So if you don't want black in your work, you don't have to put it in there. You can actually use just a really dark, colorful color and, or not even have it dark, but have it a, a like a blue and compared to a red or a yellow. And you can put all the colors in there. You can put a rainbow of colors in there like I showed you in the beginning with a group of people who just use more color than they use um, neutral tints or grays or blacks in their work. And so that's all good though. See, that, that becomes a style then. So how do you get a style or how do you do it? It's just by practicing a lot and working a lot of colors. So go back into when you're like this holiday season, when you're asking for gifts, ask for, you know, some of these colors and actually use and tell tell those people what colors you kind of like, but also let them pick out their colors and just see, and maybe try some colors. Maybe you're going to like some colors. We all as artists, I have three favorite colors. I have number one, number two, and number three, number one being violets and number two being oranges and number three being turquoise, like a turquoise color blue. So those are my three favorite colors. And I love using those in my work. And it just, when I get done with a painting and it has those colors in it, it makes me happy. And so that's what we want you to be when you're using um, colors in your scene. Maybe you don't like all colors. And a lot of times it's fun to just use a black and white, just using black in your watercolor. Just, and that helps you to learn a little bit more about composition between your lights and darks, right? And so that's a little bit easier. 
though sometimes when you are using a lot of colors, let's say you're using colors like this group, this first group I showed you, if you're using all those colors, let me get rid of this list here. Um, if you're if you're using colors like this lady up here on top, who does like every color in her paintings, that's fine to use them all in there. Um, but realize that if you're doing it that way, you do have to use them all in there. And so that it has that look of just vibrancy. And not, a lot of paintings decided this are decided by like, this is probably a scene from, I think this artist lives in uh, um, Key West. And so that the buildings being all colorful and stuff like that makes it perfect for her color schemes of every color in the and the in her work and if you're um she is the artist of the week in my newsletter this week so take a look at her work and it's just amazing how much color she uses in it hardly any grays whatsoever but that's fine there's no problem with that whatsoever so when i talk about colors i will always just tell the student when they ask me that question is that use the colors that you love use the colors that you love and then follow your drawing and follow your color scheme and um that whole using color schemes and triads and all that, that's, you can find many, many videos online and how to use those colors. But if, if you're not so interested in those color schemes or that kind of color, then I don't think it's gonna make you as happy as if you're using colors that you really, really like. And so use colors that you like and so for certain subject matter, you, you know it's gonna be good for those certain subject matters if you do a lot of practicing. And that is with everything, always practice try different things, try different colors. And when you're doing my Thursday this week, we're doing, we're, we're going to be painting a truck in the snow. And so maybe we're going to try it with more colors, different colors than I normally would think to use for that. So we're going to try that. I know it's a snow scene with a truck and, but we're going to see if we can use some other colors in that. And, or if you want, you can just make it black and white with just a little bit of color. So it's all up to you. And so when it comes to color, color choices, use colors that you know and love. That's my final answer. <laughs> so basically it always has been my answer that color is a very personal thing to you. And so use colors that you know and love that you really, really love. And so you're always going to see purple in mine. You're always going to see orange in mine. You're also going to see turquoise in mine. All right. So until this Thursday, or actually we're Thanksgiving, right? So happy Thanksgiving everybody on Thursday. So this week we're going to be working on Wednesday night. So I'll see you Wednesday night. Bye-bye.